guys, first of all, as this is my first Talk Me Head video, welcome to the channel. So if you're into filmmaking or photography, you might already heard about his name, Dehancer. And if you didn't, it's this cool film emulation plugin and also phone app for achieving film like color as if you were shooting film. And it's not just some LUT that will most probably just break your image and not even bring it close to looking like film, but it's years of development and mathematical simulations of film negatives and their actual behavior, including tools like push and pull, obviously grain, and my favorites, halation and bloom. Now, I've recently been in Sicily where my girlfriend was attending a press trip and a wedding. And we had a really good time, relaxed a bit. How do you feel about this vlogging kind yeah, of Yeah, I, lo I love it. Also explored beautiful places like the old town of Cefalu. I took some side-by-side -side pics with my Olympus Mujer U2 with Portra film developed right here. So let's have a side-by-side -side look at them first. Where the answer comes into play is just taking the digital edge of a photo, especially phone photos, where because of so much processing, digital sharpening, shadow and highlight recovery, the photos lose a lot of character. When I compare my edits with Portra 160 film, it's just the overall exposure handling of the film and this unlimited highlights that film is known for. Size of the grain depends a lot on the film. I just prefer it to be a bit bigger, a bit more noticeable, so it's nice to have an option to adjust it. But film is film, guys. It's the classic, and if you can have film, then the answer is your best friend. Now about some cool Dehancer phone app features that help emulate film even better. Probably my most favorite is push and pull, especially because of how it's handled and how well it is designed for digitally replicating the color contrast correction as if you were shooting an actual negative. In a nutshell, if you move the push and pull slider to the left, you're simulating underexposed film, and when you're moving slider to the right, you're simulating overexposed film. Next up, we have film grain. The cool thing about grain here is that it behaves according to the images, and it's not just some grain overlay slap on top of the image, it's again image-based generated grain that takes into account all the film development processes and results in this truly natural yet digital film grain. There are multiple controls to adjust it, size, density, resolution. I usually play with chroma, which according to Dehancer is the amount of color micro contrast in the grain granules. I look at it as a RGB colorfulness of the grain, but that's the technical term. Also, you gotta be careful here because preview looks a bit different than export. And I read this is apparently the iOS issue. Maybe it's different for Android version, but so far this is the iOS thing. I couldn't not mention halation and bloom. And if you know the cine still films, you know what I'm talking about. Bloom is this light dispersion around the edges of contrasting areas, which you might have seen being also replicated these days with mist filters and halation is the effect visible as the local red-orange halos around the contrasting edges. I will link more technical blog posts also from Dehancer if you'd like to know how exactly these functions behave. I think it's really interesting to learn and see how they manage to replicate it. And newly added video functions, film breed and gave weave. I have to say, I don't often use video functions on phone that much, but I can see it being really useful for people managing social media, wanting to do a quick break and post as a real or story. But the film brief is the slight exposure wiggle combined with gate weave as a subtle X and Y position wiggle makes for even more real film like footage. I usually edit my dailies just an iPad or iPhone. With this little SD card dongle, I also upload A7 4Pix, which I'm filming on right now. At the moment, Dehancer supports the iOS RAW processing, not a custom one, but it's still a lot more flexible than just JPEG if you really want to push to edit. I have to say, I also kind of wish that the app would support the XAVCS codec from the Sony, which I'm mostly filming, but I'm sure the team will include it in a future update. Also, one thing that I noticed is that when you import 4K60 phone footage into the app, the export will be still 4K30, so make sure you slow down your footage before dehancing it if you want slow-mo. There is a lot more different film stocks when it comes to achieving different looks, but these are my personal favorite features of Dehancer. 
And that is it for achieving film look on your phone, guys. If you never tried the answer, I highly encourage you to try the trial version at least. It isn't just an ordinary phone app with filters, it's years of scientific research, and you'll most probably fall in love with the results like I did. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, keep creating.